statistics for both sections combined, okay, IT, CS combined. Um, there are 72, or 72 students, I think, took the quiz. Maybe a few missed it, didn't take it. Of all the people who took it, I think one person didn't get more than 50%, okay? So that one person, you can see on, on Moodle, on the website, you can see, it's not obvious, but you can see your grades for this course. There's a link to your grades, and there it will show you your score for this quiz. If it's green, I think it's above 50%. If it's red, it's below 50%. If it's a dash, you didn't do it. Okay. So most people did it and got past. So everyone took, mo most people took multiple attempts, so on average two attempts. Um, this is good. Average grade on first attempt, 60% for most people. I don't think it's quite a reflection of your knowledge though, because we'll see later uh, why some people got 60%. Maybe some may have copied, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, some more statistics. Uh, this doesn't mean a lot because this is the, the highest grade for each. Again, the highest grade, most people got between 6 and 7 out of 7. That's fine. I like to see that. Only one person got lower than 3.5. Okay. This is maybe the question that uh, most people found the hardest. Some were just short questions which even on the second attempt many people got this wrong and on the third attempt a lot of people got it wrong. Of course there were different numbers here. The question was you have some size, some file of a particular size, in this example 3 megabytes, you want to download it. Okay? You download at a speed of 10 kilo, kilobits per second. Lowercase b means bits. K, kilo, 10 kilobits per second. Essentially, how long does it take to download? So you have 10 megabytes, sorry, 3 megabytes. I've got it on here at the moment, we'll show. 3 megabytes, how many bits? 3 megabytes, how many bits? 24 million bits. Mega, million, or 10 to the power of 6. And 1 byte, 8 bits. So the uppercase B means 8 bits in this case. So 24 million bits you want to download. So the data to transfer, you've got to download 24 million bits. We want everything in the same unit. It's much easier to calculate when it's in the same unit. So 24 million bits to transfer at a speed of 10,000 bits per second. So you can transfer 10,000 bits in one second. You've got 24 million bits to transfer. How long does it take? Or what is the minimum time? That is, what's the best case? Because you can't go faster than 10,000 bits per second. So 24 million bits in 10,000 bits per second Leave, takes us 2,400 seconds. Okay, so, very simple once you know how. Importantly, try and re recognize the correct units and get your numbers in the right units when you calculate. People had different numbers here, but the same approach was needed. Some issues people recognize when we're using this online quizzes the software is called Moodle, I'll refer to that. When I set up the quiz questions, I give some expected answers. And in some cases, and then Moodle automatically grades your answers. I don't. Moodle gives you a score immediately. It expects, expects the answers in certain formats. Because I've only programmed in some formats. I cannot do everything because there are so many possible answers in some cases. So in this example question, or the, that question in the past, if you gave 2,400 seconds, that is you spelt the unit as seconds, it would have been marked 100% correct. Or instead of just seconds, you gave an S, a lowercase s, that would have been correct. Some people recognize that if you gave a comma, this is a bad thing of this software, it doesn't recognize commas in, names, in numbers. Okay. So 2,000 
400 with a comma here would have been marked wrong. Okay. Similar if you gave a dot after the S and small if you gave it in milliseconds. It's the same number, but it's in fact not accepted by the software. So, all right, what do you take away? Don't use commas. Try and use common symbols and prefixes, even though 2.4 million milliseconds is correct, is not a, an appropriate answer if the answer is in seconds in this case, or better off in seconds. But if you gave these answers, you should, and, and the system told you you were wrong, contact me and I will go and manually grade it and I would mark all of these as correct. Okay? But I have to manually do that and I'll only do that if you contact me. So if you see an answer, you're sure it's correct or you think it's correct, just tell me and I'll manually change the score. Don't worry too much there. Sorry, uh, taking time. Attempt the quiz on your own. Uh, 